that tip right there is the tip of Sunbury Cove and we're gonna walk around that tip and here are the bayfront lots and then way in the distance you can sort of see the electrical telephone poles that lead into the subdivision and the uh, the land actually goes about 200 acres into that bay further than the eye can see somewhere around there this is the sign you'll see when you turn off route number 11 Okay, so this is the entrance to the subdivision here that we just came in. These are the back lots. These would be the waterfront lots. These are the waterfront lots across the bay. Behind me is the Confederation Bridge, and I'm currently standing in what I believe is to be Lot 12. Um, let's see if we can zoom in on the bridge from here. Okay, here we go. We're not even at the shore yet, so that's the Confederation Bridge, and over to the uh, cross there is the uh, is New Brunswick. Okay, so we're standing at the bottom of uh, of what should be lot 1112, maybe, and then towards the trees here, lot 14. Hopefully, you can you can see me okay. And I'm just going to pan around. We're going to see uh, Ives Point in the background there. Uh, actually, it was a site of a few of our uh, our first spec homes or the developer spec homes that I sold. And we're going to see. In the distance, Summerside actually, McCollum's Lighthouse, which is just across from Summerside, and then uh, Bedeck, Fernwood, the bridge, and New Brunswick. So, right there, should see in the distance Ice Point Road, which uh, the, the pictures of those houses inside out are on sunburycove.com. Zoom in here if we can see them. There we go. It's as close as I can zoom. Again, looking up to lot uh, number six. Now we're looking at lots probably uh, 13 through 11. back over the cul-de-sac and the trees on the tip of the subdivision and this is looking directly we're looking directly onto lot 14 let's go down to the beach okay here I am standing on the beach one of the nice things about Sunbury Cove is not only is surrounded by at least a thousand acres of wildlife uh, the subdivision itself owns 200 acres that are not developed and probably won't be developed for some time but you have miles and miles of beach to walk. Um, right around behind the camera, there's a natural wetland. We'll try to get some shots of that. It goes over to the bay here. Uh, you can actually follow the bay around. And this way here, we end up at what's called Union Corner. Uh, but just before that is a, a natural freshwater stream. It's only a couple feet deep uh, at the at best of times. And we'll try to get some shots of that as well. But I'm just going to give a quick view of the beach, and like I said, it's going to change. The tide's going to go out, it's going to come back in. The seaweed's going to disappear, it's going to come back in, depending on uh, the time of year, the season, and everything else. So here we go. Just lowering the camera here to the beach. And if we zoom in just slowly... There's a little tip out there of, uh, of land, probably somewhere around lot number eight or nine. There's the bay. And 
and then there's our there's our lots right up to uh, 20 or so. There's the continuation of Strang Road. And back to lot number 14. It's phenomenally peaceful out here. You can hear uh, birds and you can hear the crickets in the in the lawn. Fortunately today you can fortunately today you can hear the heavy equipment tractor in the background, but that won't always be here, obviously. Okay, so this is the cul-de-sac I've been telling you we'd get to. I, I said we would and we did. It took me a, a few different little stops because the property is just amazing. I've been doing this for about 10 years. I specialize in nothing but waterfront property in Prince Edward Island. This is one of the most amazing properties I've ever seen at any price. But the corner of that cul-de-sac is lot number one, which is partially into those trees, which you could maintain or clear. I believe this lot's sold. Beautiful, beautiful views throughout. So again, we're probably looking across the water at uh, what's called McCollum's Point. There's a lighthouse out there. I don't know if we can zoom in on it here. There she is. That's the McCollum's Point Lighthouse, which would be directly across from Summerside. And then uh, that's located in uh, what they call the deck. And again, we're just panning along here. You should be able to see Ives Point Road there shortly. There's that little tip of land we saw from the other side. There's Ives Point Road. I'm just going to zoom right back here. And we can see the natural wetland between lots uh, 6 and 7, 7 and 8. I guess I should look, look into that when we get back to the map. Okay, so where I'm standing here is at the bottom of lot number 1 on the beach. The, uh, the tide is fairly low. Uh, to my left, down here about three or four thousand feet, is a freshwater stream which we'll try to get some shots of. And right behind me, uh, you'll see a tip of land. That's called St. John Road or, or uh, Union Corner. Old, old cottage subdivision. A lot of those lots are either in the water or half in the water. Uh, they didn't have erosion barriers back then, or buffers, or anything, so, uh... Looks like we're out of tape. We're done.